This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Turned it on. They were, man, were they good in the second half. Uh, we lost some shooters, um, made some mistakes, and... Um, but at the end, you know, they took a one-point lead, and we came back and won the game, and um, which is great for our young team. And um, I don't think we should get caught up that we're ranked and they're not, and this and that. And they're a hell of a team. They've real, been a really good road team. And um, you know, in the end, it's a great win for us. Anthony had a big-time shot. Uh, we made a mistake again late defensively. We were supposed to switch the ball screen, gave the kid a wide-open shot, and the building was so loud. Um, I think it really helped us. Um, but uh, it's a good win. Good win for us. Questions? Down. Mark, was there any consideration fouling half uh, on that last play? No, not no. There, there wasn't. There was consideration if he was in the lane and he was going up for a shot to foul him. Okay, when we were up two and make him earn it at the line. Uh, we did talk about that, but at the end we were just going to switch ball screens. And take our chances, you know. The possession before when they had to call timeout, we were locked in and guarding, and um, you know we just we made we just we didn't lock in until we absolutely had to defensively. But um, give them credit; they were terrific. They they did some nice things for their shooters. I'm in little. On the long stretch where you guys struggled to make a shot, what what were they doing that was making that difficult, or was it? Well, we had would be a five, seven assists or five assists, seven. Okay, that shows you we were really stagnant. We were stagnant all night. I, I didn't like the way we finished the first half because our defense was off the charts good. And if, and if it was 18, I thought it should have been 25. And we were a little bit stagnant. We never really got going there. Uh, they played a really smart game defensively. Um, and they, they stopped doubling. And they zoned up a little bit more and just missed shots. Uh, but a lot of it was uh, us being stagnant, not moving. And, you know, we play a lot through Bruno. We didn't have him. Um, you know, thank God we had the big league. Um, but, um, yeah, we just got to get better than that. Patrick, right here. With Anthony's shot, <laughs> you know, it seems like he's probably made about six or seven of those over the last few years. Yeah. Shot clock winding down late in games. Yeah. Have you had guy, a guy that's been more comfortable with that shot in that situation over the, over the course of your career? Than that? Do you remember Mellow Trimble? <laughs> <laughs> so both of them. It's pretty, you know, two local kids that have done it for us. Mellow used to make impossible shots. So we made a mistake with about the three-minute mark when Anthony turned it over. He fell. I was telling Sticks to stay low, and he went into a ball screen. So at the timeout, we said, hey, late in the clock, we don't have anything. Just get out of Anthony's way, and we did. And, those are the ones he makes. I mean, he makes them, and um, it's terrific. Uh, he missed the layup the time before. I was mad if he didn't get the rebound on the layup. Had the two big kids in there. Um, but uh, I thought they did a nice job boxing us out tonight, um, uh, which helped. But no, it was good to see Anthony make that shot. Then we kind of energized us a little bit defensively. James Middlerick. You mentioned how well you guys played for the first 25 or or so yeah. do you think this was something where you know you're still young and you, yeah you guys took the foot off the gas or what, yeah. what do you think happened? yeah so everybody's saying hey you gotta start games better well, man i would rather finish them better right i mean come on so now everybody's gonna say we got to finish the game better um but i just told our team after the game just because there's a number in front of our name now doesn't mean that we've just conquered everything this is one heck of a league it's a great league there was a stretch out there for about four or five minutes in the first half. We had five freshmen on the floor. We're the fifth youngest team in Division One basketball, right? This team's doing amazing things. It's not getting any easier. I go on the road, Ohio State, Michigan State, the next two games. It is what it is. It's, it's the best league in the country. And, you know, just to get another one is terrific for us. So I want our guys to know that, that they're doing some amazing things, and it's not going to be easy, um, and to stay confident. And so that, that was my message to them. Lamar in the middle. Uh, and with Bruno in foul trouble, Ricky Lindo ended yeah. up with 
more minutes and the most rebounds on the team. Can you yeah. talk about just the stretch you made? Yeah, I tell you what, we're really relying on Ricky a lot. And um, I, I've never seen a kid grow as much defensively as he's grown in rebounding. Uh, you know, he did a great job on Hap. You know, Hap didn't get to play the second half either much, but he did a great job on Hap in the first half. He did some amazing things, gets big time rebounds. I don't think, our, you know, we could have boxed out a little bit better than we did, but Ricky goes and gets them. So really proud of Ricky. You know, when we signed him in August, we were going to redshirt him, okay? So it's pretty cool what he's doing, and um, he's really helping us, and he's growing, and our guys have a lot of confidence in him. Last one, Dave, to your right. Coach, it's one thing to win one of these games going away, but what does it say about the character of your team, especially yeah. one this young, to win when yeah. sometimes things are going every which way to lose? Well, it's good to win a close game so people won't talk about me because um, I know how it is, but uh, we've won some close games. To come from behind was big. You know, and I, I was kind of playing the role, but I was like, hey, this is great for us. Winning by 20, and that doesn't really help us. This is great for us. You know, they're hot. We got to figure out how to stop them. We had to get a score. This is great. And, you know, where we've really come a long ways is at the foul line. Now, we got to the foul line, which is great. We started to do against Wisconsin, then we made them uh, 22 for 25, I believe. Um, you know, we were 12 for 20 against Seton Hall and missed two front end and one and one. So we've come a long ways at the foul line, and that's really been the difference in these close games. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.